Uh, this new MacBook Pro actually is a lot faster than the 2015 MacBook Pro. So in this video, I want to do a quick few minute video showing you the benchmarks. So if you were considering upgrading from the 2015 MacBook to the 2016 MacBook, I think you'll be impressed with the speed of so the read and write of this SSD. It is really fast. So stay tuned and uh, let's get into this video. All right, so first here on the chopping block is definitely the 2015 MacBook Pro. Now, the 20, 2015 MacBook Pro is actually a fast computer. I bought this back when it came out, um, and I used it straight through for all editing and everything. But then at one point, I just wanted something different. I thought I wanted to not use a Mac anymore, and I wanted to upgrade. So I sold, sold one of the Mac 2015 MacBook Pros so I can get a 2016. And after getting the 2016, still having a 2015 in hand, the 2015 definitely is a lot slower than the 2016. Now, this is to be expected, but I didn't expect Apple to double the SSD write and read speeds, and that's exactly what happened here with the 2015. It is amazingly fast, even though it has a much slower CPU. Now, here is the 2016 MacBook Pro, and I've got to tell you, this thing doubled the read and write speeds uh, of the uh, 2015 MacBook Pro. I wasn't expecting that kind of power. Even though this is clocked at 2 gigahertz on the CPU and the MacBook Pro 2015 is clocked at 2.7 gigahertz that I have, uh, this SSD is amazingly fast. So what does that mean for a YouTuber? And actually, you see how it stops at 2,000? I think it's actually a lot higher than that and that this, this, this app kind of caps out. But what does that mean for a YouTuber who wants to use a Mac for editing and things like that? I think you'll really enjoy the speed of this SSD. Now, I do have an external SSD that I'll be testing, but nothing's probably going to beat the speed of read and write on this 2016 SSD that I have. So there you have it. If you do a lot of video editing or you just use, a, if you do a lot of transfers and things like that, especially for YouTubers, I think YouTubers probably really enjoy using a Mac for that reason. A lot of YouTubers have MacBook Pros. And they use them for producing their videos on YouTube. And that's exactly what I do. Uh, and I use it for a lot of other things, but I just feel like the MacBook Pro, the 2016, it is actually an upgrade as far as performance goes uh, to the 2015 MacBook. Now, there are some downsides to that. You know, we all know that it doesn't have all the ports and everything like that. And you're going to have to use a dongle or whatever to make it get uh, to where you want it to be. Well, I personally don't have a problem with that because that's just the way it's going to be. USB Type-C is, is supposed to be the future, and, and we're not in the future yet. So... I'm getting on board now, and I think you should too, if you want a very fast computer, you could get away with just using the baseline uh, MacBook Pro 2016. It is very fast. Uh, is it expensive? Yes. It's an investment. So if you plan on actually using it and you're going to get some return, then it's definitely an investment that you want to make, especially as a YouTuber. Uh, save your money and uh, get a MacBook if you can. I would say, I would go so far as to say, um, even get a pre-owned MacBook. If you can get a pre-owned 2015 MacBook or recertified through Apple, I would definitely say get it because you get a full warranty and everything with that and you get one year warranty and you know that's coming from the source so the support will be the same as though it was brand new. And also I will suggest that you get Apple Care. Uh, that's definitely something that I would recommend that you do. And I have a three year plan on mine and um, I think it's going to be good. I, don't, I, I didn't have any problems with the other MacBook and I really don't anticipate having any problems with this one. I haven't had any problems with this MacBook. It's actually been fantastic. So uh, just a quick demo of the processing power as far as read-write on benchmarks go. Uh, the MacBook Pro 2016 is an upgrade from the 2015 MacBook Pro. And it's your manager, Will. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.